wonder, um, first of all, whether you were a, a Leave supporting businessman anyway. And, and secondly, if you were, um, whether you think uh, these higher wages are going to come for those people in these kinds of jobs, hospitality sectors, in, in HGVs, in, in logistics and in, and in farm work. Well, we're in a supply and demand economy. And if the government don't intervene, intervene, which, of course, they shouldn't, then what happens is wages go up because we're all desperate to employ people. So we pay more and get better conditions to try and attract the best people. But if people. those businesses so, can't afford it, if they can't afford to pay more. No. If they can't afford to pay more, they need to make their operation more slick, more effective and more efficient. And if they can't do that then it's just the law of the jungle that some businesses go out of business. But that happens every single year. You know, it's always a norm that the least efficient businesses suffer. And it's very sad for those businesses. But, you know, when when you're going to survive, you've got to fight like fury and find a formula that works. And the formula for a lot of them, I suspect, is going to be, well, they might be have to pay more. That uh, additional cost is going to come from customers who are going to find themselves paying more for whatever the product or service is because they'll just pass that cost on. So things are going to get more expensive even if people's wages go up. Oh, without a doubt, more higher wages means more inflation, higher costs. But bear in mind we're in this supply and demand economy and if, if uh, the customer doesn't like what that company is offering, they can't just pass the cost on. So mm. what they have to try and do is be more effective and more efficient, bring in more automation. It depends on what sort of business, but just be more effective. But one of the things that people were told would happen as a consequence of voting for Brexit is that things like food and shoes would get cheaper. They're not going to. Well, I, I don't know about that, but we've certainly got the well, added complication of COVID. Well, OK, I, I accept that. I don't know, but I accept that. But the simple fact is that COVID's made a huge difference to everything. You know, COVID has affected everything quite dramatically. And COVID is causing way more inflation than Brexit. But you put the two together and it's tough times. But we'll come through it and the government will succeed providing the employee Cordwell pandemic recovery, which they've not employed sufficiently to my liking, which is massive investment in the future of Britain. If we invest sufficiently, we're not hamstrung by the rules from Brussels. We can really make this country enormously successful and really put the great into Great Britain.